What's up, Billy Good Nation? Hold on. Oh, I know. This thing's been not acting right. What's up? There we go. Crowds missed you, dog dog. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, look how far we've come. She just jumps right into the correct seat and everything. Good job. Yeah, well, I'll be back in a second. I gotta get the little wheel. Yeah. Anyway, so I was saying I mowed. So mowed out here a couple days ago, and then I finished mowing yesterday and a little bit this morning. But yeah, so most of it looks pretty good. So good note is that <clears throat> how the back looks now is how all this looked a year ago. So we know, you know, we added some grass seed this year uh, and some fertilizer and stuff, but that's it. And it's it's come in pretty good. This is getting there. Grab some of these flags right here. one of the next projects we got to do <laughs> y'all like piranhas what are you doing what no I, I hey tiny I did not bring any uh, treats with me you can eat some bugs how about that I got some bug bites I'm tired of that that's what y'all are supposed to be for it's funny as I stuck these in the ground with Chris when we walked around next to this tree the ones we didn't use before we did any clearing so here they are yeah they've seen better days but they'll work for what i need to do today anyway so the uh health department is coming tuesday to approve the uh three septic permits that i put in for so i don't know how it is in your state but here before you can build anything or do anything you got to have the uh, health department uh, or environmental department really but health department guys come out do a perk test and all that kind of stuff so all that is happening Tuesday um, it's really just a formality we the area that we need done uh, was tested when we first bought the property anyway um, but yeah is what it is. Looking nice and beautiful out here. You okay? Yeah. You all right? All right, come on. Let's go see what this bird's doing. So the uh, kill deer had their babies. So I got to kind of watch out when they run around because they're tiny and they don't fly away. I see one over there. See if we can get it to show up on camera. So the big one that's chirping is the mom or dad. Stay. There it is. You are a cute little tiny thing. There were like four of y'all there. Did the rest of y'all get took out? <sighs> That's disappointing. So I got to mark off where the house is going. <clears throat> so Mrs. Beely Good can approve it. Which means that Dog Dog and I are going to spend some time laying it all out. And then she's going to come out and see it. Tell me what she doesn't like. And then I'll have to do it all over again. All right. <sighs> Gives us something to do, right, dog dog? And we had a visitor yesterday. First one I've seen out here. I'll put it up on the screen now. I caught it with my phone, so it wasn't a whole lot of footage, but a little bit. Here, I mowed that side down. This side's the side that's wet because water comes out of the wood, so you got the feed that comes from over there and over here. 
as you drive here the woods yeah it's probably 60 feet from the uh fence line it kind of comes down and then comes back up so that that little ditch area needs to be defined so when chris is here i'm gonna get him to dig that and kind of define that area better we're gonna dig out this other pond right here and then this area here you'll see this low this low area over here uh, where you just didn't get to get in here and grade so we're going to dump that extra dirt here and kind of grade this whole bank here out a little better um, so that should fix the little drainage issue we're having over here straighten that up so right here is where we'll put the ditch right where it's wet see and then it's good back up here so that's something uh, that if you look for land long enough, people give you the advice that instead of starting on projects day one, like you, you know, you get your property and you're excited and you want to start doing stuff, of course, kind of see how things work because the land will tell you what it needs, right? You can, so a couple of rainstorms, you'll see where you need uh, drainage and how things go and yada, yada, yada. So it just saves you a lot of heartache if you do that. I cut all this grass this was about two feet high and i've already cut it once this year um, so yeah so the house is going to sit out here somewhere uh, that tree's probably going to have to come down which i hate but i don't think we're going to be able to put it back further and get what we want and keep the tree which does suck because i actually like that tree we'll see we'll see where the flags go and how it lays out maybe it'll be on the corner maybe the house will but if we do that then those all have to come down so it's kind of a trade-off so the sun uh sets behind me yes there it'll set over here and then winter time it's more this way so it's kind of in this range so sun sets behind us sunrise over there so the, the lake has sun on it all day we can't be within 50 feet of the pond setbacks and then we want to have room for a pool and all that kind of stuff so i'm thinking that's going to put the closest we'll probably have the house is somewhere in here all right so the footprint of what the county would call disturbed area is that corner to that corner that white flag up there on the hill that white flag and i just got to go put one over in there which will be a little bit behind the side by side so that's the whole area of disturbed soil like i said the house won't exactly be that large but uh you know that accounts for the furthest most points of area that we're messing with so then miss beely good looks at it and tells me if i need to shift left or right or further back that would be the so the side of the master bed would be here all right so it would come in here and then probably over about where i'm standing is the corner of the screen porch so the screen the porch would be here so if i do put it over this far then the view off the back of the porch where visitors and stuff would be is kind of over here but it'll be, I says, turned with the dams. It's not like this, it's like that. So I think that's okay. She might want me to go to the right a little bit more. So the corner, which is the guest room. So the breakfast area is about here. So the guest bedroom ends up about here. But remember, everything's gonna be taller too. So I need to bring a ladder out here because we'll be standing 10 feet higher than where I'm at right now looking. So it'll probably more on par with the height we've got from back here. More like that view from the deck. Actually a little higher probably, but gives you an idea elevations are tricky they're even trickier on camera
Dog Dog is having a blast. Good for you, Dog Dog. Yeah, so see I'm standing in the back corner. He goes to that white flag over there. <sighs> okay. And we'll dig out. I don't know if the we're drawing the basement to be under the entire house. Um, we don't need that space. I just know we just knew that we wanted a walkout basement. Um well, like I said, I don't know if we really need that much more space because actually the house has got everything we need. So the basement's just a uh, changing area, bathroom for the pool. Um, maybe probably like a second little hangout area for you know people that aren't getting in the pool or messing outside and just want to be inside, that kind of thing. Um, we're putting a bunk room upstairs. I mean, there's plenty of space upstairs. So I doubt we'll dig out all the way back here, full basement. We'll probably dig out half of that, maybe to about where the tree line is now um, for a basement. And then the rest of it will probably just be crawl. We'll end up uh, pretty confident that's what's going to end up happening. I doubt we'll do it all in basement. We'll see. It was pretty good out here now though, right? All this got grass on it. So just a little bit in there and over there, but they've got grass even coming up over there. So uh, we'll just keep up with it. And then in the fall, we'll uh, go hard at it. But the good news is this lets me, the septic guy, do a spot on where he approved septic that gives me all this area back here we just can't be 45 feet uh from the fence line this way but that's about where that pink ribbon is so that gives us this area and it gives us that side there for septic so that's good right now i'm not planning on drilling another well i'm planning on just using that one it's a little bit of di distance to pump to the house but it's not bad no reason to spend my own another well i don't think uh, and I already marked out where those two houses get get their septics. Uh, but like I said, I, good soil back in there for septic systems. Well drained, well drained soil is what they look for. So, dog, dog, Whew. let's go. Come on. Let me get you back to the house. You look like you're about to pass out. Let's go. How do you think you're going to catch a bird? They fly. You understand that, right? Did you see the video of the eagle question mark? All right. You good? You going to make it? Man. All right. Getting you exercise today. Makes me tired just watching. Fish feeders out there. Did a little quick video when I fed did a test run on it the other day a little short if you missed that you click on this link see all that got cleaned up that's chickens did their job of cleaning all that out huh all that's left back there is some extra fence James ran the fence the rest of the way to the property line so that's done so the rest of the fence we're putting in uh, is all cattle fence I finished the gate, so we got the lights on that gate also. Uh, the openers will be put in in about three weeks. They're on order. Uh, yeah, it's coming together. Slowly but surely coming together. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Yeah, we got the last oh Miss Vicky sent you a bag of treats. There's two bags in a box. If you start eating, will you shut up? 
and that's the uh, last of uh, bag one. So the Duck Mafia thanks you, Vicky. We definitely appreciate it because our feed costs are through the roof now. That's all right. There you go, let's quack. <laughs> Sean Quackery. Come on. Agent 86 there. He was trying to, he offered to mow for me earlier. He got up on the mower and was trying to figure it out. What are you doing? Are you really, are you scratching at the mower deck? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're really doing? Huh. You gonna ride around and mow with me? That'd be hilarious. Come on, let's go mow. Fairlane's gotten dusty. I've been driving a lot more though. I had to deliver, take boxes to the post office like three times. Let me run around some, put some miles on it. All right. Let's go in the house. Now. See what she's thinking. out your nice back porch and look at the neighborhood or the lake well th i thought you were saying it was facing that no. way i was like why so you okay so it's facing this way the front of the house faces this way all right then i'm so confused. okay so you, what you're saying is you're building the house between these two flags well that was proposed i mean we could definitely move this way but we're not moving this way 100 feet Another you need market. to move that one now too I'm no never i moved that just moved it. Can you hear me? I'm gonna be totally big here. I can't wait to, wait to rent that house. Okay. I can't wait to. Okay. So follow along the words I'm gonna be saying now. I felt like, what was that thing that you were in high school? A twirl. Oh, no, color okay. guard. One eternity later. Come on, Bob Bob. I'm going back. Why did they continue that? I don't
It's a good, good, good morning. It's a good. 